Oh, my poor darling. Oh, you just must be so exhausted from your ordeal. Wrong. <laughs> my eyes are open. Wide open. And I know exactly who you are, Miss Lord. I blame General Carpenter for this. You are obviously so confused and disoriented by the terrible things that that man did to you that... You're confusing me with somebody else. <laughs> or it's just this new look I'm trying. I'm not confused, okay? I know who you are. Why don't we go for a drive? My car's right outside. Uh, no way! And would you just, would you drop the phony accent? Okay? Now, uh, look, I, I knew that you looked familiar, but see, I, I, I was confused by the... The wig and the way you were talking, like you weren't even American or something. Darling, darling. This is the wig. The other is my real style. <laughs> I know your real style. I've seen you in General Carpenter's book, Lord of the Banner. What does that have to do with me? You're Victor Lord's wife. His, uh, his widow. And General Carpenter says he probably even killed him. See? That's you. And it certainly doesn't say Claudia Carson under the picture, does it? Uh-uh. <laughs> it says Dorian Lord. Emily, you want the truth, you're going to get it. I am Dorian Lord. Look, I had to pretend to be Claudia Carson. Oh, uh, for um, personal reasons. Uh, there, there was no other way. Please, give me a break. I, mean, I know your reasons, okay? I read the book, okay? Well, if you believe any of the filth oh, in there. Who should I believe? You? You are the one who told me to accuse General Carpenter of sexual harassment because you wanted to get back at him for what he wrote in this book. Sit down, will you? Matter, don't you like people who tell the truth? Emily, dear, you're really very young and inexperienced. You couldn't possibly begin to understand my motivation, my, 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 my method. Yeah, okay, well, maybe I'm not a brainiac, but I sure know a liar when I see one. My dear. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I, I did not encourage you to lie. No, no, no. What I was doing was trying to protect you from my true identity and all the baggage that comes with it because I have only had your best interests at heart. <laughs> My best interest? You don't care about me? Oh, but I do. You used me. You made me believe that what everything that General Carpenter did was wrong. And then you made me cut the dean in that stupid committee. Because it was the truth. It was not, and now everybody believes it. Look, get a grip on yourself, okay? Because I... I certainly did not tell you to lie. I merely suggested that for expediency's sake that you embellish the truth a little. How can I embellish the truth when it was a lie to begin with? But it wasn't. And what about me? Was that all embellishing the truth? That I was going to be this, like, world-class model? I'm such a dick. I can't believe it. I believe every word you said. But what's wrong with someone encouraging a young girl with big plans to follow her dreams? Man, you never quit, do you? Well, I do. I wrote General Carpenter this letter last night. I told him all about how I lied and how you made me do it to, you know, like, stick it to him. And I'm going to take it to him right now. Luke and Laura, 
General Hospital. Go ahead. Give that letter to Sloan. You love the spotlight so much, you'll get the full glare. If you're trying to scare me, I... No, 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 no. I'm encouraging you. You were desperate to become a celebrity, to be on the cover of magazines all over the world. Just know. Fame and fortune come with a price. What fame? What fortune, except for if you count all that money I spent on that portfolio, which you never intended to use? This is all a game to you, isn't it? You just, you just play with people to get what you want. My life, Sloan Carpenters. If people get hurt in the way, I guess it's too bad. Well, I'm not like that. I am going straight to Sloan Carpenter, and I'm going to give him this letter, and he's going to know the truth. And so is your daughter, Kathy. Everybody's going to know that you were the cause of everything. Sit down. Sit down. And shut up. Don't you dare try and blame this on me, you silly little twit. As far as the world is concerned, there is only one person to blame, and only one person who is going to be punished. And that, my dear, is you. Like, I'm the bad guy. You... You... The you are the one who made the accusations. You are the one who lied to the committee. You told me to do all this. No, dear. No, 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 no. My goodness, I just responded to what you told me. It's not my fault, is it, that you've got no will of your own. It's certainly not my fault that you were so desperate to become a model that you deliberately defamed the reputation of an innocent man like Sloan Carpenter just so that you could keep me in your empty little life. What happened? You're twisting everything. Is everything all right, Miss Lord? Yes, it is, Michael. My young friend here is just having a career crisis, and uh, I'm doing my best to advise her. Here, darling, blow. Michael, perhaps a couple of... Cups of tea. Yes, that'll help calm her nerves. Thank you. I do not need tea. I need to get out of this mess, this mess that you put me into, and this is the only way. Just... Oh, fine. Keep the letter. You're not going to give that letter to Sloan. Oh. oh. And I will tell you why. Oh, you want to know why you're not going to show that letter to anyone? First of all, if you admit in writing that you deliberately lied and tried to destroy a man's life, you are never going to stop being sued. Then, of course, there are the criminal charges for inciting those two idiotic friends of yours to attack Sloan Carpenter. A man was almost killed. Uh, attempted murder? Do you think the DA is going to forgive and forget? But I think again. Then, of course, there is the humiliation of having the whole world know that you are a liar. Because I will put it on the front page of my newspaper. Just think how your mother is going to feel walking into the supermarket and seeing her baby daughter's face on the front page of the intruder with the word liar written across her forehead. But it's not my fault. You were the one who said I was going to be this, this, this big model and I was supposed to be on this shrunk. You bought me those dresses. <laughs> Oh, my dear, really, that's going to be quite convincing. People are really going to believe that I posed as a modeling agent to get you to be a model. Please, you're not fit to zip up a model's dress. <laughs> Great, go laugh. Go ahead and laugh. Everybody laugh. Because I don't care. I'm going to do what's right. Everybody's going to know that you made me say those things. Sit down. Stay put. Listen up, Dimwit, because I am going to tell you the final reason why you're not going to do anything with that letter. And the reason is me and what I can do to you. Honey, 
If you say one word about me with that crooked little mouth of yours, if you change one word in that accusation, you're going to learn what real pain is. Yes, Cressy. You've read Sloan Carpenter's book. Hey, you're the expert on it. You know exactly what I'm capable of doing. Don't you? Hmm? 